in the middle. So where there's the real old web idea, but we very quickly got into webs where wires are not uh, really connected, but where you make the connection between the wires. Because again, you know, an idea can be beautiful when you stare out of the window in the morning, but practically you don't always want all the variables to follow you. So it's nice to have choice and, and grab the wires that you need. So this led to exhibited and had children play with. I'll just go through this a little bit too fast. So in this case, it was a web that played animals, sounds, like each wire, wire had an animal sound. And by pulling the wire, it would slowly morph into an imitation uh, of that animal, like a human would imitate that animal sound. So there, there is this morphing, and for children, it turned out to be an incredible play to, to see where you know it's still real and where it's the human doing it. And it's totally simplistic, but it, it was really like a hint in the exhibitions. A little boy playing with a cracker box and roll. Parents trying to guide it, whereas quite often the children would bring their parents in to explain it to them. You see in the back there's a bigger web set up, there was the TP web. It's like a new age approach. This is it. So here, this was again to try to have more people play the wires at the same time. You hear this can really hang into the wires, which is really nice. And here I was staging a little TP web concert with kids and standing back while they continue. You see, we don't stop playing play with children. This, unfortunately, is a very rare uh, or bad image of what, uh, what is called in our, uh, it's the Dansomatique, but it's basically the smallest uh, techno club at that time. Basically, there was, again, wires and, and floor response and other stuff, and it, it really made techno music, but sometimes uh, at exhibitions, this, this little box would be filled with uh, some, uh, like, 20 kids just dancing around and pulling these wires in a very old bal uh, champagne style, you know, where you would pull the ball and win a prize. But in this case, by pulling the wire, you would start new rhythms going, and they would slowly peter out. So, you know, this was really a way to keep them pulling these wires. And so they had to sort of, they could change the rhythms and, and do all kinds of stuff like that. Um, here again, uh, you see your web, but also game control. This is where at Stanley started to do game controllers. So we started using game controllers because we thought this is something that kids know. But very quickly we came back from it because the game controllers seemed too connected with games and with that whole game life. So we started using uh, our own controllers again in exhibitions with lots of fun. We started finding new use for known keyboards as multi instrumentalist instruments. And we made like an almost a factory of crackle box. And here, this is another organ uh, where each key has a, a material that has a very distinct touch and, and it would uh, allow you to make a relationship between that touch and the sound. Well, you can imagine what happens with this stuff. <laughs> it was really dirty. But not everyone was afraid. There was a mirror that you could sing into and it would deform the image. There's a table where each musician, uh, it, there's a, a, a camera system under the table and it detects the position of these like little porcelain uh, fake kitsch musicians. And, uh, but the piano actually really plays piano riffs and the trombone, and the tro yeah, trombone in this case, and the drummer really play their instrument by moving it through grids. And it's very simple, like blues, like grids. And uh, so together they can play in a raga style by only being able to go through those grids together. And again, it's really simple, but it, it was, it's really interesting to see how kids play with this uh, together, alone, where father looks like it's a chess game, or other people are really studying details. There's a, a chair where you can sit and massage yourself with sound, again with a game controller. And there's a puppet that uh, would sit next to this crib and you could play it by touching the arms. There was also a screen 
that when you would cover the eyes, for instance, the, it would start dreaming images that you would see on that screen. But sometimes there would also be a dog uh, coming on the screen, very brutal. If people would be too brutal with the child, if there was too much movement, you would move them. So you would see like an incredible interesting behavior of little boys or parents or like suddenly holding this baby like it was real. And it also produced sound. Now, this is more recent, this was actually last night. <laughs> this is where a stand has gone. <laughs> uh, the game controllers we don't use, but we started to, to hack the game controllers. And we're actually setting up workshops where we will teach people to hack a known game controller. So you just use the little board that you can see uh, here. And, um, and attach like keys or accelerometers or all kinds of uh, sensors and it goes in through USB and it's possible um, we, uh, we are creating software at the moment it's called Junction X uh, which will allow you to, to really uh, do um, uh, modif modification of the incoming signals and route it to MIDI so this is last night and some of you may have seen this this afternoon it's a project of Christina Anderson that you see here and it's, it's dealing with wearables. <laughs> and you can have this funny situation that it looks like she's showing that her, she has been robbed and the bag is completely empty, Marcel is totally <laughs> depressed. But we know this is different. This is a musical instrument and she's picking up light from the back of the room to show beautiful little tinkling sounds. So he's happy. <laughs> And I've dedicated myself to do more concerts for children because I think and play with them and sample them live and do all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, uh, because I think that is uh, you know, a group of people that still can be influenced a little bit more than sometimes people who go are already on music school. Um, I think uh, I could go on talk a little more, um, but I see. This computer went out. Um, I would like to conclude uh, my talk with a little bit of music, but I saw this one switch off. So while uh, he is trying to rescue me, Thank you. 